Today I'm making something I've never made before, never even tried it before. And I'm gonna try to get Donna to do the taste test with me. We're making grilled octopus. Will it be sink or swim? Look what we've got here. Yep, octopus. That's right. I've seen this uh, in pictures before. What we're gonna do is grill this beautiful fella up. Now, in order to uh, uh, make sure he's nice and tender, we'll take two steps. We're gonna simmer him first for about an hour, and then uh, once he's uh, tender, and I'll show you how we'll figure that out, we'll get him over there. Ooh, look, I guess that's eyeballs, huh? We'll get him on the grill. You wanna start with two cups of white wine. Now, I've got this Scuppernong honey wine. Um, that I made, uh, or some, some folks call mead. Uh, but you know, if you don't have mead, you can just use white wine. So like I said, we're gonna heat up two cups of white wine, or in this case, mead. I've got a tablespoon of peppercorn. Here we've got the juice of a quarter of an orange. I took a whole orange, quartered it up. We're gonna put the juice in there, okay? Now what I've got is um, one bay leaf. You can use salt, pepper, whatever other seasonings you want. You could use something like this frog bone or slap your mama who most folks are familiar with. But what I'm going to use is this gator hammock, gator done. You know the whole uh, alligator theme. I'm hoping it uh, carries over to this whole octopus theme. Okay. Now what I've got here is about two teaspoons. Like I said, if you don't have that, you could substitute salt, pepper, and garlic. Uh, this gator hammock, gator done, has got uh, salt, garlic, black pepper, onion, paprika, spices, and peppers. All right. Now what we're going to do is uh, get our octopus in here, and you can see he's not totally covered up. No problem. What we're going to do is just add some water until we get him, you know, covered up. Now I'm going to bring this to a simmer. And uh, once it starts simmering, we'll probably go about an hour. You know, I'll start checking it, uh, you know, 15 minutes before then. But I'm just going to estimate an hour. I've never made one of these. I've been reading about them for months. Some people say cook it 30 minutes, some say an hour and a half, we'll find out together. It's been less than 10 minutes. I don't know if you can see in the camera, but it is starting to simmer. But look what our octopus has done. He's curled up here like he's sitting in the pan. So um, I'm gonna add another cup of the white wine and another cup of water. And I think I may have misspoke. Uh, this is a four cup uh, container. So I put four cups of water in originally. So we're at five cups of water, three cups of white wine, or in this case, uh, you know, mead, as I mentioned. What I'm going to do is, you know, you can see he's all swelled up. I'm going to let this go for a while and see if he relaxes back out um, before I make a decision. Am I going to need to move him to a pot? Because I think we want most of him covered up. It's been right at one hour. I think this guy's ready, and I'm going to show you why I think it's ready. I'm going to turn the heat off. Okay. I'm going to try to hold it up so you can see, but if you'll notice, the fork goes right in it, or what some folks call fork tender. Okay? I'm able to penetrate the meat with the fork without much resistance at all. So, I think he's ready. Now, what we want to do is let him sit in this braising liquid, uh, but cool all the way down. Um, I don't want to throw him on the grill hot. I don't understand all the food science behind it, but everything I've read says uh, cool him down. In fact, some recipes talk about at this part you can sit it in the fridge and even leave it overnight to the next day. But I'm going to sit him in the fridge and then go get the grill ready because I want to try it today. This guy is all cooled down. Now, if you can see, it's going to be pretty dang hard to grill in that shape. So what I'm going to do is uh, first thing we're going to do is cut this guy in half, okay? And then, um, I believe, yeah, I'm going to 
I'm not going to bore you with this, but you see how this purple stuff peels off. I'm going to, you know, I think, get a paper towel and peel that off. And then once I've got the purple stuff all peeled off, I'm going to, we'll come back and we'll slice it up. Yeah. Maybe I won't take it off. It's kind of hard to get off. I think I'm just going to let it go. And what we'll do here is um, we're going to cut it in large enough pieces where we can lay it flat on the grill um, so that it can, you know, it can grill nicely and not too small so that, you know, it won't fall through the grill grates. And we just about got him all cut up and I'm trying to talk Donna into helping me try this. She's never had a grilled octopus. I haven't either for that matter, uh, but she's not too crazy about it. Or too crazy about trying it, I should say. Hey, it's pretty bright out here. I hope you guys can see. We've got this grill cranked up to 600 degrees. We're just going to get our uh, octopus on here. I did try to peel off that purple, I think it's skin, I'm not sure. And I took it in and rinsed it off. Okay. Now, all I'm going to do now is take that same gator hammock, gator done, that we used kind of in that uh, braising liquid. Just going to lightly sprinkle the tops of these guys. I'm going to let it go for about a minute. Then I'm going to turn it over, sprinkle the other side, and then we're going to put some barbecue sauce on this. Like I say, it's just been one minute. Okay, I did not grease these grill grates, which I probably should have. Ow, that grill's hot. Okay. Yeah, we're only going to grill at a couple minutes each side total, um, so I want to just get it flipped over so I can get the seasoning on this other side before we start applying this sauce. Just going to come in here one more time with a little bit of that gator done. Okay. Like I said, I'm going to let this go no more than one minute. What I've got here is Captain Jack barbecue sauce, um, about a cup. It started out with um, that I heated up. The only reason I heated it was to thin it out, but you can see the chunks of fruit in it. I love this. It's uh, made by Fat Bastard. Um, this one's got, uh, like I said, it's got uh, fruity uh, kind of flavor, so it's kind of great with seafood. I'm hoping it goes well um, with this uh, octopus. Right, I've let this go one more minute. I'm just going to take this almost like you do wings. Look at that nice char starting to get on there. Just going to toss it in this sauce and then get it back on this grill to finish it up to get a little caramelization going with this sauce. That fire is hot. Okay, you can see that looks nice, smells nice. This is a great sauce. I've used it many times in the past. If you're interested about this Captain Jack Fat Bastard sauce, I'll put a link in the iCard there for you. I don't even think I'm going to shut this lid. It's so hot. I don't want to burn this after all this work. Yeah, ooh, look at that nice color we're starting to get on it now. So we're just going to flip it. Let it go maybe a minute, right? You can tell just by looking at it when you've got it the way you want it cooked. Sure, you can hear the neighbors mowing the grass, whatever you want to call it. Let's get this plated up and try it out. Donna's here. She's going to help me do this uh, octopus taste testing. We're both octopus virgins. Uh, just so you know, Captain Jack, the island fruit, wild rum, Caribbean barbecue sauce, and a little of the gator hammock. Gator dough. Okay? Okay. All right. I'm not excited about this. You like calamari. I'm going to make a deal with you. What's that? You have to take the first bite. Okay. And if you chew weird, I'm not going to taste it. Okay. No, you have to try. Mm -hmm. I've tried a lot of stuff for you. <laughs> That's not even a bite. It's not. How about that one? All right. Taste that. It's actually pretty tasty. So it reminds me of calamari. 
It looks very chewy. Except it's got a barbecue flavor to it. It's not, look, see how, see how the knife cuts right through it? All right. Hurry up, it's a million degrees out here. <laughs> I have tried all kinds of stuff for him before. He won't try grits. So I think y'all should comment and let him know how much you want him to try grits. <laughs> but so I have yeah. to make them for him because yeah. I know how to make them right. It's good. All right, here goes. It's a little chewy, like you would expect, like a clam. Texture's kind of like a clam. The flavor, it's not fishy at all. It's a real mild flavor. It's not as strong as a clam. Although you feel differently. <laughs> What's it taste like to you? I, it tastes okay. I just can't get over the what it is. It looks like it's going to wrap around my tongue and choke me on the way down. <laughs> so if I cut it up in smaller pieces, it'd mm -hmm. be okay? No, nope, it's still got tentacles on it. All right. Yeah, the tentacles are there. That's no doubt. So um, I guess I wouldn't make this again for Donna. Um, the, the flavor was good. I would eat it again. It's. I, I thought it would be tough and chewy, but it's definitely not. I love the barbecue flavor. Anything else you want to add? The way the little ends of the tentacles curl is both pretty and creepy at the same time. <laughs> okay, so if I think it's 97 degrees here. I think we're done. I hope you hit that armadillo pepper icon if you're not a subscriber already. And let him know you want him to try grits. <laughs> Thanks for watching. What is this? This is uh, Memorial Day. Yep. Have a great holiday weekend.